Okay, I'm gonna make this video for most of my young audience day in between the age of like 18 to 25. I looked at demographics, there are a lot of you out there. In fact, a lot of you actually email me about this is career choices. Which career should you take? Whether that is you wanna be an entrepreneur, whether you wanna climb up the corporate ladder, or whatever, whatever you wanna do, it really doesn't matter. But what I wanna talk about this video is I wanna talk about the mindset you need to have in life to succeed in anything you do. Doesn't matter what you do, you need this mindset. And I'm tired of seeing people complain uh, claim victimhood. Oh, I'm the victim here. Something has happened in my life and I can't do nothing about it to change it. Rubbish. I highly recommend you read the book from Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning. Phenomenal book. Please read that book. There's no such thing as victimhood. Only you make yourself in the victim and the biggest enemy in your life is yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. We are our biggest enemies. What I want to talk about is something that uh, Seth Godin talks about is the linchpin. Becoming something that is so valuable in the ecosystem that if you take this thing out of the ecosystem, it falls apart, kind of like Jenga. So regardless of what you want to do in your life, what you need to strive for is investing in yourself. Investing in intellectual capital in yourself. Investing in your network. You know the saying, your net worth is your net worth. Investing in your physicality. You know, there's a direct correlation between how healthy of a, of a physical body you have to a direct correlation of how healthy your mind is. You can't have one with yet, uh, without the other. If you have an unhealthy body, your mind is going to be unhealthy and vice versa. You've got to have a healthy mind and a healthy body. So let's talk about the first point, intellectual capital. There's a statistics that I read not too long ago. I don't know how accurate this statistic is, but they talk about that more than 80% of students after college university will never, ever pick up another book. Ever. That's crazy. The number one way you can get ahead in life is to be hungry for knowledge. To be, be hungry to grow yourself better in every skill set possible. I always say you got to be the connoisseur of knowledge, connoisseur of life. If you're hungry enough that you spend an hour a day studying one subject matter, within four years, you'll have 10,000 hours. That's a 10,000 hour rule where some people debate left, right, or whatever. It doesn't have to be exactly 10,000 hours, but think about that. Imagine if you spent an hour a day studying a certain topic, where you're going to be in four years, then where you're going to be in eight years. So that's number one. You need to have the hunger, the curiosity to learn more. You're going to have more knowledge than people, you're going to have more experience than people, and you have more domain expertise than people. Um, there's a funny thing in the headhunter space that I've dealt with before, talking with some headhunters, and it's like anything in life. You know, when companies come to you or when individuals come to you and they're looking for good talent, they're like, you know, how do I find good talent? Obviously, good talent is not sitting at home saying, oh, where's my next job? No. Really good A players, whether it doesn't matter what industry you're in, doesn't matter what trade you're in, doesn't matter what career you're in, the A players are either doing two things. Number one, they're doing their own things, which majority of the time they are, or number two, they're getting paid a shit ton of money uh, to work in very interesting projects. They're not, it's not like they're, they're out of work, they're not, because they're such a rare commodity, because there's so few of them in the world, right? But how did they get there? They got the hunger. They got that drive to keep on educating himself, to invest in yourself, as opposed to sitting back and saying, oh, I went to school and that's it, and I'm gonna do this job, and last time I read a book was four years ago and I read some blog. No, number one is intellectual capital. Double down on investing in yourself, and it can be anything. It can be learning a new language, learning a new uh, computer coding language, such as Solidity, uh, learning whatever you want. It really doesn't matter, okay? Number two. So number one is intellectual capital. Number two is the mindset of a winner. Seth Godin talks about the linchpin. So imagine you're driving around in the countryside, you see black cow, white cow, black cow, white cow, black cow, white cow, and boom, there's a purple cow, and you're like, holy fuck, a fucking purple cow. It stands out, and right away it grabs your attention. It's a pattern interrupt, and that purple cow is unique. But that purple cow, what you need to do is become that purple cow. So you need to have the mindset of a winner. And a mindset of a winner is somebody who is both optimistic, pessimistic, and I like, I like the actual, um, the, there's a saying, uh, uh, an, optimistic, an, uh, an optimist sees green, a pessimist sees red, and a wise person is colorblind, right? So I always say a winner is colorblind, where they're not just seeing tunnel vision either left or tunnel vision either right, they're seeing all optionalities, as Nassim Tlaib talks about, option A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, game theory options. So you have to have the winner of a mindset. You have to view all options. You have to view all different, let's say, 
uh, opportunities you have and play on the arbitrage opportunity and really plan out where you want to go. I always tell people, listen, whatever you're doing, I really hope it is a means to an end. It is a stepping stone to the next step of the ladder or the rung of the ladder is a stepping stone to something greater that you want to do. Winners, they think long term. They're thinking 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 legacy past their age to the next generation. So what I want you to do is I want you to surround yourself. And this kind of is a segue to point three is the network. I want you to surround yourself with people who have this mindset, people who are thinking long term, people who are thinking about options, people who are thinking about arbitrage, people who are thinking about how can I really transform myself first, then transform the world and to help other people. Um, there's a great book by two U of T professors, which is called Connected, where they took the whole idea of, you know, you are, your, your net worth is your network and, you know, great things happen to you if you're surrounded by great people and they pretty much dissected certain networks based on these algorithms they had and they're looking at, they're looking at uh, annual income, they're looking at happiness, looking at all these different correlations and numbers and you'll be quite shocked and surprised where the saying comes from, you are the, pro you are the product of your environment, it's true. So get that book, it's called Connected. But that takes me to point three is your network. If you are around energy vampires, people who are hating on you or people who are sucking your energy or people who are just negating everything you're trying to do, you got to cut them out of your life. As simple as that. Cut it, chop, 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 and gone. Uh, next thing, you always want to be surrounded at least 20% of the time in your life with people who are way ahead of you. Uh, there's a great saying. Uh, if you walk in the room, you better be the dumbest person in the room. You know, I try to do that all the time. I try to be the most dumbest individual in the room so I can absorb information. You know, I, 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 I love it when I'm around people. I'm like, I have no fucking idea what's going on or what they're saying. Great. Time for me to be a sponge and absorb all this stuff. And at the exact same time, what you need to do once you absorb this information is you now have to flip the table around and you now have to send the elevator back down um, and to help other people. So once you've learned something from somebody else, surround yourself with people who are lower than you to help them out, to regurgitate the information. Uh, also that helps you internalize what you learn. So recapping the whole thing, you know, regardless of what you want to do in life, to really succeed in both finances, to succeed in happiness, succeed in relationships, to succeed in whatever you as a human being want to do, you need to A, have the hunger to learn and grow as a human being, uh, B, you'd have the winning mindset, thinking long term, looking at options, thinking everything from an unorthodox point of view. And number three, surround yourself with awesome people. Do not surround yourself with low level vibrational people. Surround yourself with high vibrational people. And that's it. That's a wrap. I'm going to keep this video under 10 minutes. If you have questions for me about, let's say, career choices or about starting a business or in general, whatever help you need from me, leave a comment below this video and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.